New point. <laughs> My name is Randy Bigley. I'm at Arrogant Goat Nano Brewery, correct? Correct. With Mark Burke. Mark. And Dave Jones. Mark and Dave. Arrogant Goat. Let's talk about, first of all, how'd you guys get the name? Well, uh, it really just, uh, and, and just know that uh, one of our other partner, Zach Osborne, wasn't able to be in today, so make sure to give him a shout out. Uh, but the name really just it just came about, um, it, we saw a funny picture on the internet, really yeah. is what it came from, and uh, it just kind of stuck in my head, and uh, it was something I kind of shared around with text message, just kind of goofing around, <laughs> right. and uh, we were watching, I think it was the parade at the Bratwurst Festival, Okay. and we were talking about home brewing, and, and what do we want to do, and we don't do anything halfway, so mm -hmm. uh, we said, well, if we're going to buy home brew equipment, let's buy equipment that maybe one day we could open up a, a small shop, and that's what we did, and just watching the parade go by, it hit. Right. Look at this goat, arrogant, arrogant goat brewing. It has nothing to do about greatest of all time. <laughs> right. It right. was just a picture of a goat on the internet. It really is what it came from. And it became like a joke we sent yeah. around uh, on text messages. And, and that's just how it came to be. So it was really just kind of a, a funny picture is really what it came from. Awesome. How long have you guys been here now? Well, we, January, January 7th yep, was our eight. first official okay. day. Yep. And you guys are open like how many days a week? Well, right now uh, we're only open Saturdays from 2 mm -hmm. to 8, uh, but we're working uh, over the next, uh, hopefully, a month or so to, mm -hmm. to hire some staff is what okay. we're looking to do. And I try to be open at least Fridays and Saturdays, and we want to be open for uh, events, especially when Dora mm -hmm. opens up. Sure, July exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, if there's movies going on uptown here at the park because it's it's right behind us mm -hmm. uh or if there's a concert going on we'd like to be open so yeah. uh you know we all hold down uh, full-time plus jobs yeah. and uh right. coach and do different yeah. things and right. so uh, it'd be nice to get some some help here so you know it's, it's really taken off we've been busy pretty much every weekend we've been open so i think we it, it shows that uh this will work so we just need to be open a little bit more so that's that's the hope is toward the uh, summer end of summer we're hoping to be open uh several days a week awesome term nano brewery what's that exactly mean I, have, I believe it's what is it less than twenty five thousand barrels? Yeah, it's a, okay, so you know, a nano brewery. Than, I believe it's less than twenty five thousand barrels. Okay. A, a year, and mm -hmm. then a microbrewery is above that. But um, you know, we probably produce anywhere from uh, three to four barrels a month. Okay. So okay. we are we are a very small operation. Uh, uh -huh. Our system is, is is about a barrel and a third. Mm -hmm. So we can do just over a barrel of beer, which is is thirty one gallons or so. Uh -huh. So we can we can do about a forty to forty three gallon batch at a time. Well, how many different brews do you do here? Well, we have about fifteen, yeah, fourteen, 14 or fifteen same. recipes yeah, just, that we've yeah. had on. Okay. Uh, so we try to rotate them off. We only have a few mm -hmm. um, beers like the Goat and mm -hmm. Blue Line Blonde are some that are always on, and then mm -hmm. we kind of have rotated the rest of them through. So we've, okay. we've had about since since January we have had fourteen different recipes on the wall. Uh, we've got mm -hmm. another couple new recipes coming on in the next few weeks. So we like to try new stuff. We don't usually keep the same thing all the time, but we will try to build a rotation of two or three pretty regular beers and then just some some different beers. Some to different, try to, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want people to keep coming back. So sure. give them something new uh, each time they come. Um, do you guys come with your own recipes? Or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, our, par our partner Zach does all the dark, the porters, right. and the stouts. Yeah. 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 And uh, then we just between the, the three of us, we we come up with the other recipes. You know, look at beers that we like, mm -hmm. and try to to come up with something that's pretty similar. And uh, but yeah, we just come up with them. Use a little app on our uh, on the computer, our yeah. phones to right. to really nail it in. And and they they work so far. Oh, okay. cool. Yeah. I'm, what are you guys brewing today? It smells really good in here, actually. Uh, it is a cantaloupe IPA. Wow, cantaloupe. So, yeah. So yeah. It, I know it's like cantaloupe. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Yeah. But uh, actually, this was it was a, a good story. So mm -hmm. the Rotary Club recently, mm -hmm. what two months ago yeah. or so, did the Rotary auction yeah. for the uh, Usire Backpack Program, which feeds kids uh, over the summer and and on the weekends uh, that have um, food need. Okay. And so that was the organization they were run, raising money for. They asked, and we donated a uh, brew experience. Oh, wow. And so yeah, today, yeah. today, uh, Jason Calder, who purchased uh, one of those experiences, came in, and he's been brewing with us today. Oh, very cool. And yeah, uh, so yeah. he got to come up with the recipe, sat with us, and came up with the recipe and what he wanted it to be. He named it mm -hmm. uh, and got to go through the brew process with us. And uh, then he'll come back when we're kegging, he'll keg. Mm -hmm. And then the night we put it on the wall, He'll come and be a guest bartender, That's and cool. so yeah, you know, yeah. so uh, yeah. so well, we partnered with Rotary. We auctioned off two of those beer experiences, mm -hmm. and we, I think they raised a little over twelve hundred dollars with that. So we were happy to give mm -hmm. give to the to the backpack program and happy to, to give to the Rotary. So. Fantastic! That's what we now. Do you ever have people come with ideas like, "Hey, why don't you try this or something"? About every week, <laughs> oh, right. yeah. 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 you guys thought about brewing this, and 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 sometimes we say yes, and other times <laughs> we say no. We're not there. 
Uh, uh -huh. but, but we do try to take uh, recommendations of what yeah. people want to see on the wall. And, you know, we'll have, uh, we'll have our, like we've got our summer week because it's summer out and then toward the, toward the fall, we'll have, um, you know, probably a, maybe an Oktoberfest or a Scottish yeah. ale or something that's more of a fall beer. And we'll probably yeah. try to dabble into a, a Christmas ale when that comes around. So we'll try to have some seasonals. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we try to keep something fresh on the wall. Uh, just so somebody has a different experience every time they come in. What's a good one for the summer? What's a good one that you recommend? I well, that summer weed. Summer, summer, summer weed has been yeah, very, very popular, summer, yeah. and uh, we did a half a half of Weizen, um, a, a few weeks ago, and that was very popular. Mm -hmm. Sold pretty quick. So I think we're going to do like we'll say, we'll keep summer weed on uh, mm -hmm. until fall, right, and then yeah. hopefully that'll come down, and maybe our Scottish ale will go on the wall. Yeah, so I'm really excited about doing that one. So it's awesome. So you guys are located where? Where, where are we at here? Uh, 125 East Rensselaer Street, uh, right uh, between the uh, American Legion and K Salon. We're a small little, uh, about 900 square feet we, uh, building, and we brew everything on site. Everything is done right here in the building, and uh, we've got the space for about, you know, uh, 14. We have 14 chairs, but we can take a few more than that if they, they like to kind of stand at the bar. Right. Uh, but, you know, we're a very... We're small. We're a small yeah. manor brewery, uh, but uh, uh, the number of times we look at each other and go, man, I wish we could go bigger. But, <laughs> right. um, right. but this one day, this right? was, yeah. this yeah. one day. This was, this was yeah. new. Everybody's got to start somewhere. Yeah. Everybody's got to start right. somewhere. So this yeah. has been the perfect size for us. It's been very manageable. I think we're in great proximity of uh, Shriners Park here. Oh, yeah. right. And uh, so it's been a great location. The folks we rent the building from have been absolutely wonderful to work with. So. Uh, we're just excited to be here and, and excited that this has actually been very successful thus far. You got to be excited about the Dora too. That's gonna, oh, that's going to oh. really be cool for you guys. I hope so. Well, I think yeah. it's July 1st, yeah. and that's the first yeah. Friday event for July. Right. So we're really hoping to see what mm -hmm. July 1st has to, to bring. You know, it's the first uh, Dora plus first yeah. Friday event. That's got to be it's awesome. It's going to yeah. be an awesome night. That's good. I mean, yeah. So guys, can check this out. I mean, it's great. Like, how many how many do you have up now? How many different brews right now? Right now we've got uh, six, uh, well, five beers on the wall, and plus we've we've added a um, a hard seltzer. Uh, okay. So we have folks that come in and don't like beer, so it gives them an opportunity to have something else. So right now we have uh, we have an imperial stout, an American ale, an American IPA, our wheat ale, and then our American blonde ale, and then our seltzers. We we have yeah. six uh, six taps on the wall, and hopefully here soon, uh, you know, hopefully before fall. Uh, we hope to add a nitro tap as well for our stouts and our porters, so that should be Very a good cool. addition. Yeah. So. so, yeah, there's different things you'd like to add on you're going to be adding on here. Mm -hmm. Yep, right. yeah, we, we got ideas, we got we've got <laughs> right. more ideas than we have money right, right. now, yeah, so, right. Right. Yeah. so, so that's cool. more so. to come. All right, so come on, check out the check out Arrogant Goat Brewery, uh, Nano Brewery, correct? Nick Merrick, yeah, all right, thank you.